Hi guys, my name is Lucas. Welcome to Omni Tech News. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a cool piece of software called Display Fusion Pro. A lot of people these days have two or even three monitor setups. I have a two monitor setup, so does Robert, Carson, and Brandon. And they're really useful, they're really handy when you have a lot of programs open, but sometimes the customizability options will set you back a bit. And the cool workaround for this is Display Fusion Pro. It's a great piece of software developed by Binary Fortress. Um, check them out, binaryfortress.com slash displayfusion is where you can get this. There is a free version, which it doesn't expire, it's not a trial, it's just a free version and there's not as many features in it as the pro version. They were nice enough to send me a key for the pro version and I thank them for that. The pro version allows you to do um, a couple more things. It's an improved interface. You've got some more options like adding a, a task bar to the second monitor and you just have a few more options as far as customizability goes. So the main interface here is really nice. Up here at the top, you've got the different wallpaper settings you have for each monitor. So for my main monitor here, this is my widescreen 18.5 inch monitor. I've got this nice avatar wallpaper here. Um, it spans the whole wallpaper nice. And then on the other one over here, my secondary monitor, which is a bit smaller and it's not the same uh, aspect ratio. I've got some nice light streaks here. This is a wallpaper I found, I think on DeviantArt. But uh, nevertheless, some wallpapers up here and this is kind of the main uh, viewing preview window for your monitors. Down here you've got the background mode settings. You can choose to either have an Im one image span across both monitors or to use different wallpapers for each monitor. You can also adjust the background for use with active desktop. So down here you've got two tabs. The first is image, so you can choose to use one image or randomly change using images from my computer, from Flickr, or from vladstudio.com. Then you can choose your image that you want to use down here. You can choose from my computer, Flickr, or Vlad Studio if you just want to use one single image. Over here on the left, you've got some other options as far as your wallpapers go. The first being the size mode. This will allow you to change how your wallpaper appears on your monitor. So for instance, I have this one set to fit best and maintain aspect ratio with edge clipping. There are a ton of other options in the drop down menu. You also can choose to not stretch smaller images. There's a little checkbox there. And then you can choose your color mode. So I could make the avatar wallpaper grayscale and it would turn black and white. And then there's also a sepia tone mode right there. Obviously I want to have the normal mode because there's the nice colors that are brought out in the blues and stuff in the avatar wallpaper. So I'm going to keep it like that. Then you can also, if you don't want to have an image as your wallpaper, you can just set it as a solid color. Obviously I don't really want to do that. It doesn't look very great. And then down here you've just got some um, standard buttons for applying your wallpaper and help and stuff. But then the cool thing is that you can go down here into wallpaper settings, and then you've got a whole nother window that opens up with a ton of other settings, like your taskbar and your hotkeys and tons of other different options and stuff. So most of this is just some basic settings for the software. There's some options and stuff here, and there's some other wallpaper settings and window snappings and stuff. And then you've got like languages and proxies and whatever. So, but the cool thing in this is the taskbar window. You can actually add a second taskbar like on your secondary monitor. So if I just apply this real quick, you can see what that looks like there. It actually kind of stretches the icons out. And then you've got a ton of other options here like the taskbar opacity. And you can set it to use Windows visual styles uh, when they're enabled and stuff. So uh, another pretty cool feature for this piece of software. So overall, Display Fusion Pro is a great piece of software. I highly recommend it to anyone who's running a multi-display setup, and it's just so great. It's so intuitive, and it does exactly what it's designed to do. It's well-priced at $25, available right now at binaryfortress.com slash displayfusion. Go pick it up right now. I definitely recommend it. I think some things they might need to work on are possibly adding some screensaver integration. I think that might be a cool feature that we can uh, look forward to in later versions of Display Fusion Pro. Also, I think they might want to add some other websites that you can download wallpapers from besides just Flickr and Vlad Studio, possibly DeviantArt, and maybe Interface Lift. So those are some suggestions for the Binary Fortress team, and uh, I definitely recommend this software. We give it a 9 out of 10. Great piece of software from Binary Fortress. My name's Lucas. Thanks for watching Omni Tech News. <laughs>